Hey Cougs, welcome back to At U of Age. We took a little break, but we have more exciting news and events for you right here today. I'm Danielle Malagari. And I'm Nicole Blanton. The UH's I Institute Center for Sight Enhancement is holding their Houston area Insight Expo 2014 on Saturday, April 12th. The expo will offer information to help the blind and visually impaired live independent and productive lives. There will be workshops that compare communication technology, including speech to text technology, the differences in Apple and Android user-friendly accessibilities, and other product information for the visually impaired. The event is from 9 in the morning to 4 at the UH Health and Biomedical Sciences Building. There will also be door prizes, lunch and snacks, and musical entertainment. CAPS will be hosting a screening day to help detect and prevent alcohol addiction. CAPS sponsors four national screening days per year to help inform students about mental health issues. These screenings are free, confidential, and open to all current UH students. The Alcohol Screening Day begins on April 9th at 11 a.m. and will be held at the Campus Recreation Center. For more info, visit uh.edu slash caps. UH's Moore's Jazz Orchestra can't get enough of all that jazz. And if you're the same way, come check out their performance, The Great American Songbook, on April 16th. Come hear songs by legendary jazz artists such as George Gershwin, Cole Porter, Harold Arlen, and many more. Vocals are going to be performed by Grammy-nominated singer Tiana Hall. The concert starts at 7.30 and is held at the UH's Moore's Opera House. For ticket information, call 713-743-3313 or visit the online box office at www.vendini.com. UH Chancellor and President Renu Couture has received the 2014 President's Award from the National Association of Student Affairs Administrators. This award recognizes a college president who has improved the quality of lo student life on campus by supporting student affairs and programs. In response to receiving this honor, Couture says that student success is the top priority at UH, and she is especially gratified to be recognized by an illustrious organization made up of student professionals. Couture received this award at the 2014 NASPA conference in Baltimore. UH students from Bow College of Business are now $10,000 richer after winning the Dumbstruck Challenge at South by Southwest in Austin. The students entered a startup challenge called Dumbstruck, where they had to find the wildest action in Austin and capture it using a messaging system that allows senders to see the recipient's reactions through video. The students used their own creation, the Candy Cruiser Skateboard, to get the job done, and their hard work really paid off. So a big congratulations to Jesus Hernandez, Tamar Depota, and Hamza Amir, who say they are going to use their winnings to expand their business. Do you know a little one who's always building something or concocting a scientific experiment? The Cougar STEM Camp aims to enlighten young people with interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. All students entering the fifth, sixth, or seventh grades are eligible to participate in a fun-filled four-week summer camp at UH that will explore themes ranging from alternative energy to forensic science. Two sessions will be offered starting this June, and the committee will select 200 students to participate. For more info, visit cougarstemcamp.weebly.com. Did you not get to check out B.O.B. at this year's Frontier Fiesta? Well, don't worry, because our very own Cassidy Sun got an exclusive interview. Check it out. What can we expect from your performance tonight at Frontier Fiesta? Is there anything interesting we should be on the lookout for? Man, I never know what I'm going to do. When I perform, I don't know what I'm going to do. I purposely don't. I, I, I kind of like surprises, you know, um, because I feel like, when you don't know in something, you have to naturally behave. You can't try to create something or create a scenario in your head. You have to just go with it. Be spontaneous. Yeah, I love spontaneity. Awesome. What's a mind-blowing experience that you've gone through in one of your tours? Mind-blowing. I think what was mind-blowing was when um, I was in like, I think I was in like Sydney, Australia. No, I was in Gold Coast, Australia. And, um, I was at this the Big Day Out Festival, and they had these big tents, I mean huge tents, and they had these tall poles. And while I was performing, girls were climbing up the poles, dancing on the poles. I mean, like 20 feet in the air. Were they like struck with anything, or 
Were no, they were, they were just climbing up the poles, just swinging on the woo. That was crazy, mind blowing. Having reached a great level of success, what would you tell to people who have big dreams and think it's impossible to accomplish them? Well, recently I just went to my my old high school and I uh, surprised the kids there, and it it dawned on me because I saw so many kids that were just like me, and they I could tell they they think exactly how I thought, and you know it just it really showed me just how close you're really a step away from your dreams. You know, when I was I got signed while I was in high school, and here I am now, and I'm coming back to my high school. So it, it's you're really just a step away, you know, from anything that you want to do. All you have to do is just not stop believing and not stop doing it, because the difference between the people who make it and the people who don't make it is that the people who didn't make it just stopped. It's not that they didn't make it. Were your parents supportive of the career choice you decided to follow? Yeah, my parents bought me my first keyboard, uh, keyboard to make my first beat. Um, I, that I sold to an artist who ended up getting a deal off of the off of the song. What can we expect from you in the near future? Are there any new projects or albums you're working on? Um, I am working on a rock EP, and I'm working on my fourth album. You worked with big names such as Eminem and Bruno Mars. Do you plan on working with anyone else? Let me think. Oh, I do have surprises, but I'm not going to say no, yeah. yeah. No, nope, you won't find out until a couple months from now. Okay. That's close enough. Right. And whose house? Coop's Coop's house. house. Hello, Cougars. This is Brandon Wernick with At UH. Today we have Uriel Rius, who is the lead singer and guitarist of Yuri Takes the West. Thanks for being here, Yuri. Happy to be here. So, Yuri, tell us a little bit about your band. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, like you said, my band is named Yuri Takes the West. Uh, we just started playing shows in January, so earlier this year. Uh, we like to play a blues rock band. Uh, okay, and what piece. kind of uh, what kind of places do you play at? Uh, well, the first place we played was at the Jet Lounge in downtown Houston. Uh, it's a real nice area. It's a friendly club, and then we've also played some local coffee shops such as Bohemios. Okay, and just little places like that. So you said uh, you said that you guys play mainly blues, but what other genres would you like to say you encompass? Uh, it's it's rock and roll, really. It's blues based, but we play some rock. Um, Little little jazz elements, a little so, bit of metal. So for someone who's never really listened to kind of a hybrid genre like that, what would you what bands would you compare them to? Like the Black Keys? Um, Black Keys, yes, a little bit, but probably more on the lines of Black Sabbath. Okay. So <laughs> Black Sabbath, it's uh, The Doors, Jimi Hendrix, that kind of stuff, that classic rock kind of feel. Okay. So would you say that um, Black Sabbath is kind of your inspiration, or what bands did you really draw off of? Definitely Black Sabbath. They're huge. I saw them on tour, by the way. Uh, um, Jimi Hendrix was a big one. Um, just a bunch, really. Yeah. Like everything. So tell me a little bit about the band. So you're a, a three-piece band. Yes. You have a bassist and a drummer. How long have you guys been together? Right. We've been together for probably about going on eight months. Okay. Eight or nine months. So yeah, since this last year. Okay. And I understand that you guys actually just recently changed your name. Yes. What was the name previously? Yes. Before, we used to be called Yuri and the Dirty Deeds, but we changed that. And then before, we were Yuri and the Double Deeds, but... We went, due to the lack of girls, couldn't really do it, <laughs> couldn't really pull it off. <laughs> so yeah. now it's Yuri Takes the West. Okay, okay. So um, wh why Yuri Takes the West? It just sounds like a cool name. I mean, yeah. we're from Houston, Texas, you know. Very so. proactive. Yeah, like we, we got that southern crunch, I feel, and we're just trying to take over the musical landscape. Okay, so what, uh, you said you play at coffee shops, you played at Bohemians. What's another place, that, a venue that you've been to that you really like that stood out from all the others? Well, the last one that we played was at this place called uh, the Houston Food Park. It used to be the Old Meridian, and uh, they actually had a little event there where they had a bunch of food trucks out there and like some art shops, and then we got to play inside of the actual building, and it was a really cool experience. Yeah, get some free food? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got some free food, <laughs> yes, yes, like a guy after the show actually said, hey, I really like your music, man, I'm going to buy you some food. I'm like, oh, awesome. Well, do you guys have a Facebook page or something? We do have a Facebook page, yes. Okay, what it's, would the link uh, to that be? The link is facebook.com slash Yuri and the DDs. Well, you heard it, that Facebook page is Yuri and the DDs. Uriel, I'd like to thank you so much for being here today. Thank that you. band, once again, is Yuri Takes the West. This has been Brandon Wernick with At UH. We wish you all the best and... Thank you for your continued watching, Houston. You stay classy.
All right, Cougs, that's it for our show today. If you or your organization have any campus news, feel free to hit us up on our Facebook page. And don't forget to like us also at, at UH. I'm Danielle Malagari. And I'm Nicole Blanton.